change some of the properties for your OneNote notebook that you just created. And the one I'm going to show you here is down at the bottom of my list called OneNote Compute. Of course, you can't see the rest of it because it's kind of a long name. You would point to the name of the notebook and you would click your right mouse button. When you do that, a quick menu pops up. Click on Properties. And this is your notebook properties. Notice right here it's telling you your name. And I named this OneNote Computer Class because I was going to use it in the computer class. Um, you can basically change the name of it here if you didn't like what you had named it or if you'd spelled it wrong. And here is the color of your notebook. Over here it shows you. Of course, if you want to change the color, you click the down arrow and you choose whatever color you want to change it to. Down here is if you have if you wanted to save it to another area, you can see the whole path here of where mine is saved. That's just a good idea to probably keep it in that default OneNote notebooks folder. But if you happen to want to put it somewhere else, uh, like right on your desktop, etc., you could do that. And the default format is a OneNote 2010 notebook format. You could always convert it to a 2007 if you're um, wanting to use the older version or send it to somebody that has uh, 2007. And then you click on OK and you've made any changes that you've wanted to.